hello everyone welcome to our channel art films network if you have not done so please subscribe comment like and share god bless you and thank you Tell you that I taught you how to cook. <laughs> you cook way better than I do. I'm not going to take the credit from you. You actually taught me how to do this, mm. mom. And I say thank you. That's true. Thank you. Mom, but do you know something? Mm -hmm. I am not happy. Why are you not happy? With all these good things you have. A good house, beautiful home, loving husband, caring. You have good children, you have good cars, hmm? a great job. What else do you want? Why are you not happy? Mom, these are material things. They should not be the only source of one's happiness. Lecture me, Mofe. I want to know, what do you think should be the basis of one's happiness? There are other things that can make a woman or anybody unhappy. Hmm. I don't think I have a good husband. What do you mean? Eh? You don't think you have a good husband? After how many years of marriage? He is a responsible man. Eh? He is very caring. What else do you think he is supposed to do? Tell me. Mom, I know what I'm saying. My husband is abusive. Hey! Mofe, are you seeing another man? Mom, I am a Christian. I am legally married and I will never cheat on my husband. Mm. Then what is the problem here? What are you bringing up? Eh? Is he abusing you? How? Eh? There is no injury on your body. Eh? Tell me. Huh? You said he's, he, 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 he has never, you know, he has never beat you for once. And I've never seen any reason to come and set to quarrel between the two of you. Eh? And now you are telling me eh, he, he is abusive. Eh? Mom, hmm? you let me explain myself. I'm all ears. I'm listening. My husband has never been supportive. Hmm. He talks me down in the presence of my children. He made me to lose confidence. He said what's that make me to lack life and hope. They had not born out of love. His actions are cold. Yes, he behaves nice outside, but when we come into this house, it's another thing entirely. Mom, he started like four years ago. I am sick and tired of this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom, I just said something. What do you have to say? I heard you. And I'm trying to see what the issue is here. Do not worry, Mom. Mm. I'll be fine. Okay, if you say so. But one thing I want you to understand, that the husband eh, is the head of the family. He has every right to say whatever he likes in his house. Eh? Also, Mofe, two masters cannot be in the ship. Hmm? All this new attitude, all this new generation attitude of yours is very dangerous. 
Oh, mm. your mom. I'll go through it myself, mm. and I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Mm. Yourself. This is not the you that I know. Is everything okay? Hmm. It's all about my husband. What? He has changed a lot. And he is in a dangerous direction now. Can you be more specific? Hey Richard. So you're actually dressed? Oh, you ready? See, look here. See something. Look at this beautiful pink floral dress. Purposely for the dinner. And here is another one. A short mini dress. So, which one is okay? <laughs> For what, my friend? For what? For the dinner, we are both invited. <laughs> my friend, none of them, neither this or that, none of them is okay. Yeah, none of them is okay. But why? Because you are not going to the dinner with me. Yes, you are not going to the dinner with me. No, think, think about it. It's a prestigious event. All the executive team are going to be there. Take a good look at me. I'm a VP, a handsome man like myself. What do I look like going to a to going to this dinner with an ugly woman like yourself? Sweetheart. Say, listen, that is one thing we are not going to do. Don't call me that again. Mufe, don't call me sweetheart again. Richard, please stop. Not tonight, Richard. Oh, here we go. <laughs> then when? Not tonight, Richard. Then when? You see, you are just a bush woman. That's what you are. Let me tell you something. At least stay home. Mofe, stay home and help me pack for my trip tomorrow. You know I have a conference tomorrow. What? Oh my God. Are you deaf and stupid now? I said... Help me prepare, help me pack for my trip tomorrow. I have a huge conference, it's very important for my promotion. Ah, come on, stop giving me a headache. Listen, make yourself useful for once. Eh? What? This is not the only time. There are several of it. But I can remember one. Talking to you. 
Mon frère, what? So I raised an issue and you are walking out on me? Huh? I raised an issue and you are walking out on me. Richard, what do you want from me in this house? I want you to stop cooking poison to my, me and my children. Do you realize they are your children too? Yes, they are your children too. But you don't know how to cook for anything. Really? Yes, mon frère. Yes, you cook poison. Since when have I been cooking in this house? Oh, since when? No one is, no one is talking about how, how long you've been cooking. I'm talking about the quality of your cooking. It's weak. Stop giving my children poison to eat. Do you want to kill them? What quality are you talking about? I'm telling you that your food is no good for me and my kids. You know, I have a better idea. I would rather take them to my aunt or my mom. People who know how to cook better food. Your yes. mom? Yes, my friend, yes. Aunt? Mm-hmm. I'll be buying to all my children other than I do. You can call me what you want to call it. Oh, God. Listen, stop cooking your poison for my children. Period. I'm out of here. Come back here, Richard. Come Where back are you going? Work. Come back and do what? Why can't you do your My friends, stop it. He stopped sleeping in the room now in six months. And even two months before then, we have not been having any affair. What? And as of now, we don't hold hands. Above all, he moves out of the room completely. My sister, hmm. this is beyond me. This is beyond me. I can't even comprehend it. I think you should talk to the pastor. This is too much. I think you should talk to the pastor. Having a, a, a communion with the sweet Holy Spirit? I'm sorry. Very sorry. Say what you have to say and get the hell out. Uh, I'll be back. Oh, by the way, I just want to ask when are you coming to bed? Because I noticed it's been a while you sleep in the room with me. Tell me exactly how is that your business? How is that your business? Because I'm the wife. Stop the parading. Listen, as far as you and I are concerned, I'm not sleeping in the same room with you again. Do you know you snore? You, you talk in your sleep? You go left, you go right. In fact, sleeping in the same bed with you is no, it's not good for my spiritual and professional growth. It's not. I'm pleading with you. Please stop. Oh, are you telling me to be quiet? You're shutting me up in my own house. No. I just want to know the reason why I'm not sharing the same room with my husband. Look, 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 look here, Buffet. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't give a hoot about you. Not sleeping in the same room with you is a hint of me just letting you know that I'm just passing time. Hmm? In fact, 
I regret doing life with you, Mofe. I regret it. What are you saying, Holders? What have I done wrong? I pray to God. But each time I make a move, it's always turning out to be something else. Listen, listen, my friend. Shut up! Shut up! Get out! Get out of here! Leave me be! Get out! Do you leave me alone? Stupid woman. Nonsense. Sweet, precious Holy Spirit. Please let us continue where we stopped before this, this thing came to disturb us. Sister Mufe. Yes, Pastor. I read everything you said. And you've spoken well. I will speak with him. And hopefully I will schedule another meeting. That both of you will be in attendance. Is that okay? Okay, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. I realize that we all have choices to make. I have come to know that it can make a man. So what did you tell him, my friend? What did you tell the pastor? What did you tell him? So, I told him exactly what had been going on in this house. What had been passing through in your hands. How you go about saying negative things about me. How you talk me down. How you make me lack confidence in myself. So that's what you, that's what you go about doing. Gallivanting around, telling people about our marriage life? Is that what you are doing now, Mofe? Is that what you are doing? Telling lies about me? Telling lies about your husband? That's what you are doing now? Yes, I do. Hmm. Married or what? I do. As much as they are the rightful words. Your words are dangerous and awful. They are killing me silently. I have a lot of things ahead of me in life. I don't want to continue like this. So tell me! Tell me what you want more from me. Tell me what you want more from me. Tell me! Listen. Tell me! What I want from you is to... I want you to die! <laughs> die! <laughs> yes, my friend! <laughs> die! That is get the hell out of my life! That is not to be free from these problems! did I get myself into? How exactly did I get to this point? I prayed before I married this man. I thought I had the voice of God. But not why. Why? This man is killing me day by day. Is it not better for me to go and meet my creator? Is that not better for me at this time? Oh, 
look at me. Even my mother do not even believe in me. Nobody believes in me. Outside people think I am happy. Everybody thinks I have all it takes. But I'm dying inside. I'm dying. I'm dying inside every day. Lord, please accept my spirit. Accept me. Because I'm ready to die. I'd rather die. Is this a husband? Oh, Richard. I caused the day that I met you. Confidence is the best appearance. No matter what you wear, if your confidence is not there, there's nothing you can do. My wife noticed and she told me how you would drunk from everything. She never asked me and you didn't, sir. We need to be patient and dread with cares. We are praying for you. We pray for the confidence to be able to open up and open before it's too late. It takes confidence to talk about things like this. Thank you, sir. Why is my husband not here? I talked to him, but he did not listen. He said he will not come. What did he say I did wrong? Or what am I doing wrong? He didn't say anything. He just... He just... Pastor. She's my legal wife, but she is competing with me in my own house. I'm not going to take that. I'm not going to take that. But Richard. Yes. Has she been disrespectful to you at all? No, not at all. Do you know that your words or your actions is draining her? It's taking her confidence away. <laughs> draining of her confidence? No, not at all. I haven't said anything wrong. I'm only pointing out the obvious to her. After all, I'm the head of the home. Well, Richard, it's, it's obvious. It's like you're saying she's not good at anything. Is, is, that, is that not what you're saying? Pastor, let me lead my home the way I see it fit. Let me lead my home the way I see it fit. Well, as a pastor, I respect that. And I'm not taking that away from you. Pastor, this woman is literally disgracing me. She's disgracing me left and right. Complaining about me here and there. I'm not gonna take that. Huh? I'm only I'm only telling her to work on herself. I hear you, but Richard. But I think you're taking it too far. Let's go. You know what, Pastor? Please let me lead my home the way I see it fit. And and as for this meeting, I'm not coming back to this again. What is this? But Richard, can we pray before you leave? Prayer. Okay. I want to leave him. I want to be separated from him. I want to be free and not look over my shoulder at all times. Please, sir. I have begged him to tell me what I need to do right. But nothing. I want to be back to my best. And be a good mother to my children. A good friend to my friends. A good colleague to my co-workers. And serve and fellowship God seamlessly. I want to be a good person again. Hmm. Physical wound can be healed. 
but the wound to the spirit are so grave and it's not easily healed. It takes time. Sister Mofe? Yes, Pastor. Me and my family will be praying for you. I understand where else you're going to. And as your pastor, I'm not going to force the word of God on you. But I will remind you what the word of God says. Divorce is not an option. But if that is what you feel best, you have to remain. But let me say this. Take everything to God in prayer and let him guide you in every decision that he makes. Again, we'll be praying for you. And I'm not going to force you to stay. Thank you, Pastor. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come before you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. You know what your daughter, your servant, your vessel is going through. I realize that we all have choices to make. Mofe. Mofe, what are you thinking about? Mom. Mm -hmm. That I should die untimely. That I have a lot of things to achieve and I will achieve there. I don't understand. Eh? I don't understand what you're saying. Mom, hmm? I know how you and dad live in understanding. I know how you live to stay true with each other in understanding. So, what happened between you and Richard? Okay, mom. How will you feel? If dad tells you you are a bad mom, a bad cook, and tell you not what to change exactly, calls you name like a bush woman, ugly, don't know how to dress, and he will not even touch you for years. That's led me into taking my own life completely. In fact, I am willing and I wish to commit suicide. Ah. Please. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> so what do you want me to do now? Mom, <laughs> all I want from you mm -hmm. is to love me, <laughs> hold my hands, <laughs> and pray for me. I love you, daughter. I love you. I love you. I am praying for you. I don't want to lose you. Try. 